Once the Mega Knight starts tanking, we're gonna pop the Mighty Miner ability. Because now nothing is targeting the Mighty Miner. Okay. And we win. <laughs> nothing's targeting the Mighty Miner! Mighty Miner's gonna take his whole tower. It doesn't matter if you log. Mighty Miner's gonna take your entire tower. GG's. GG's. Oh my- What is up gamers? It's Durky here. And today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Usually the premise of my videos is showing you one really good deck and teaching you how to use it over the course of the video. But today I wanted to mix it up and have some fun. So we're gonna be doing the Copy Deck Challenge which means I'm gonna be attempting to complete a classic challenge by stealing my opponent's decks. We're gonna start the challenge with two wins playing the super toxic giant graveyard deck. But every time we win, we're gonna copy and paste our opponent's deck and make it our own. So hopefully we're gonna see some really nice diversity across our deck. And also hopefully the video is gonna be nice and fresh and not stale because every game will be with a different deck. And I feel fairly confident that I can complete this classic challenge. But as always, my friends, talk is cheap. So let's hop into the first match and we'll see how I do. All right, into our first match of the video, we're gonna be rocking this, um, it's Giant Graveyard. Giant Graveyard is a deck. It's one of the most no skill decks in the game. So I figured why not rock it? We're gonna cy cycle the zap here. But remember everything that my opponent uses, I have to be using in the next match. He goes, he says, wow. Um, maybe because I cycled a zap, maybe because he recognizes the name. I don't know. We're just gonna let it breathe. I'm actually just gonna arrows this. I don't really have a better play. Then the bomber threatens one shop. Okay, so if he's running bomber... Okay, I was gonna say, we're already... It's already not a mirror matchup. Oh! Okay. Wow, this is bad. Okay, we're gonna go... We, we just need to accept that we're gonna take damage here, right? Like, that's just how it works. But we're gonna take the... Oh. I was gonna say, we're gonna take the king tower activation, but that's okay. Alright, horrible start. Um, but cat's out of the bag. I genuinely think we can, we can bring this back. Like, I'm not too worried about this. I'm gonna pop the ability here. What a start. Okay, so we don't have a building. Typically, when you go against, um, you know, these types of decks, it's ideal for you to have a building. Come on, let's hit everything. W zap. Um, but the good news is, Cannon Air does really well, but nothing else on our deck does really well. So we might find ourselves in a situation where we go for a tower trade. Usually, this deck runs Bowler, but I found it on a Royal API, and um, this version doesn't use Bowler. Anyway, so we're just going to reset here. We're going to go Night Witch in the back. He just used his berry, so one of the best answers to the graveyard. I guess Skeleton King? What do I even play? Like, what do I... <laughs> like, bro, what am I even supposed to play? All right, we're just going to let this go. Like, I don't really know what else I'm supposed to do here. Maybe Evil Berry? Definitely want to be saving my arrows for the Firecracker in general. Get in front. Get in front. Get in front. Get in front. Okay, we're going to Evil Zap here. And cry. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's that's something. It's, it's nice. Okay, horrible tornado. Thankfully, my opponent is kind of a bot. So we're going to reset here. As soon as he realizes that I can't defend Electro Giant, it's, it's over for me. All right, so we're going to drop this in the back. I assume he's going to go in, like in this lane. Oh, okay, he pushed in the same lane as me. That's actually really smart, to be honest. I can't even be mad. We're going to go into the graveyard here. Okay. And I'm actually going to go for Bomber, because if you look, it's going to line up with the tower. Look at it. Look at it go. Zap here as well. Nice, Barry. Barry got some good damage. Shoutouts to Barry. Barry did work. Very high here. Okay, actually... Oh, okay. It's... I don't think I can defend this. Yep. Yep. You know what that means. Oh, no. Come on, man. You can't go out like this. Zap. Come on. Oh, wait. King Tower. King Tower's paying dividends. King Tower's paying dividends. Oh, my gosh. We cheesed him. <laughs> okay, that matchup is booty, but uh, we got the W, so we're going to be copying and playing our next match with E-Giant. I'll see you there. All right. Going to do a little copy and paste. Perfect. All right. Into our next match with whatever the yuck this guy cooked up here. Uh, I mean, it, it just, it's not horrible. It's just weird to be running this when everyone and their mothers is running P.E.K.K.A. But we are in a classic challenge, so maybe he was like, you know, maybe it made sense because not a lot of people are running the Evos in classic challenge. This should probably force out the ability. I'm cool with it. <sighs> Never mind. Okay, we're going to Goblin Cage here. I'm tempted to activate King Tower, but it might be too aggressive. Yeah, we're going to try and pull everything in towards the middle like, like so. We'll see if he pops the ability. I think he's just going to drop this. I mean, it's fine. So he's running Mega Knight. Good to know. Um, depending on the matchup, 
It could be bad, could not be bad. I'm just gonna just cycle a Dark Prince in the back. That Dark Goblin's gonna get like one shot here. Which means we're gonna be running Mega Knight, Dark Goblin, Tesla. What? Okay, weird deck, weird deck. Good news is he just used his Tesla. That's gonna be one of the best answers in the game to our Electro Giant. So I'm tempted to go in here. Oh, I'm definitely going in. Oh, I'm. Oh, I'm definitely going in. Okay, we are we are gonna eat damage, but I swear he's not gonna be able to defend this. The counter push, I should say. I just need to be careful not to spoon feed him Mega Knight value. Okay, what we're gonna do is last. Yeah, beautiful. I was waiting for the Dark Goblin and GG's. I activated King Tower, but it's fine. This is, he doesn't have enough elixir right now to play anything, so that should take most of the tower. <laughs> Plays a Tesla. Okay. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. You guys got me. Horrible lightning, unfortunately, by yours truly, but it is what it is. Okay, we're going to go like this just to force out something. Um, but I don't mind the matchup. I think we can defend. I really do think we can defend, and it's not too big of an issue. We do have a building. I just opted not to play it because I wanted Firecracker on the counter push, but we do have a building as an option. Okay, I'm going to try and bait out the Mega Knight. I want him to play it like opposite of the lane where he's got most of his damage. So hopefully he falls for it. Beautiful, he does. And that's what we like to see. Because now we can do this play right here. The old reliable. The old reliable. The razzle dazzle. Put the Mega Knight on a leash kite. Works every time, except when it doesn't. But usually it works every time. Great tornado here once again, my man. Falling for it. Okay, L lightning. <laughs> Okay, fine. We made a mistake. We made a mistake. We made a mistake. That's on me. If I do this, it'll splash onto the Dark Goblin. Okay. 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 Don't panic. Don't be suspicious. Don't... What? Okay, that got a hit. Um, apparently. Bro, just stop playing Mega Knight. Apparently. Uh, don't ask me. Yeah. We need to block this. We can't really afford to take, like, chip... All right, we're going to hit him with the old razzle-dazzle here. Lightning on the Tesla as well, or whatever he drops. You need to, like, tornado this all away, Loki. Because that just needs one hit! <laughs> Bang! All right, we're going to be uh, we're gonna be playing up with Mega Knight next, so we'll see you there. You know, it is not the worst deck that I've ever seen. All right, I think we can cook. All right, into our next match with... Whatever this guy cooked up. It is Balloon. Balloon pretty bad against Cannoneer, but the one thing we have going for us is we are good at the game. So we'll see if that means anything. We're going to go like this. Um, I think this full counter is Goblin Drill. No, it doesn't. Rip. No, it would have. Nah, we got one hit. It's fine. Okay, so my initial thought here is we're okay, but we're not great. But again, that's just that's just my initial thought. I don't really know. I'm just going to cycle the Firecracker. It doesn't get damage on the tower. Um, but he th he probably thinks I'm not going to support it. But since he just used his log, I'm going to take this opportunity to go guards. And take this opportunity. Mm. Wow. I was not expecting those to cancel out. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, I'm just going to cycle Mighty Miner. Huh. That play didn't really work out the way that I thought it was. I'm going to let this go. I don't want to overcommit too early. It's fine if it gets a little bit of chip. Okay. See, I'd rather be able to go Mega Knight and, like, not feel bad about myself. So, that's exactly what we did here. Okay. Once the Mega Knight starts... Okay, actually, so hear me out. I'm gonna go like this. Once the Mega Knight starts tanking, we're gonna pop the Mighty Miner ability. Because now nothing is targeting the Mighty Miner. Okay. Okay. And we win. <laughs> Nothing's targeting the Mighty Miner! Mighty Miner's gonna take his whole tower. It doesn't matter if you log. Mighty Miner's gonna take your entire tower. GG's. GG's. Oh my god, the cheese worked. The cheese worked. Bang! Okay, well, nearly his entire tower. But we have Fireball, so it's fine. I told y'all we could cook, and this man's barely touched my tower. His win condition is Goblin Drill. We're chilling like a villain. But I will play it out, of course. You know, I don't want to wanna count my chickens before they hatch. But I must say, it's a very pregnant chicken. I feel like these, these eggs are coming down. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do Bang Bang. I will take the King Tower activation. Uh, it feels as though, it, like, as though it's the right play. Beautiful. Beautiful. Do I go in with the balloon here? It feels like a bit of an overextension, but it feels kind of lame that I haven't played my balloon this entire time, so we're going to do it anyway. Y'all can tell me it's a bad play. It probably is. Fireball here just because I'm a menace. Firecracker here just because I'm a menace. I'm a menace. Alright, well played, honestly. Well played. I mean, 
Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, Alright, whatever. I'm just gonna test it here because I'm sure he's gonna support it with the Goblin Drill. Pressure wall defending so he doesn't feel comfortable going in for a Goblin Drill. And uh, I think my boy threw in the towel. I think my, my boy threw in the towel. So we're gonna let him. Uh, we're gonna let him get out of this with a, a sliver of respect left. And it looks like we're gonna be running Goblin Drill next. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Goblin Drill tornado. We're gonna hold that W, and I'll see you in the next deck. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, I said that about the last deck, but the, like as the challenge goes on, the decks get better and better. Let's go, baby. Okay. Goblin Drill poison firecracker NATO. I can cook with this. I can. I really can. We're going to go give him the good luck here against this player. I mean, we're going to cycle our skeletons. Cannon cart comes down. I think the best thing for me to do is pressure opposite lane. That way I can hopefully get a cheap defense against the cannon cart. Okay. Hmm. I really wanted to poison that. I just don't think it's the right play. I just don't. So what we're going to do... Firecracker. Oh. Nah, okay. And, and we're... And we're in shambles. Okay. Go well played to my opponent. I mean, I he did something better, apparently. Apparently, I'm a chump. Jesus. Okay, fine. Fine. Take the damage, bro. Take the damage. Take the damage. Take it. Take it. Okay. Horrible start. Horrible start. Mm, weird bar barrel. Okay, not looking too good for your boy. Maybe I should have poisoned the recruits. I thought poisoning the recruits was a gross overcommitment, but apparently it wasn't. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Okay, he hit me with the thanks, so he probably feels like I'm a bot, which, to be fair, that first play was pretty bad. Whatever, he just drops that. It's fine with me. Cycle. Cycle, 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 cycle. I just realized I don't think I put the skeletons in the Evo slot, so I could have had Evo skeletons, but instead I don't, because I'm a moron. Okay! Fair enough. Y'all are gonna laugh at me, but I'm going to do this. Y'all are gonna laugh at me. Y'all laughed at me. Y'all laughed at me. Okay, and for good reason, apparently. Oh my god, we defended! Um, okay. We are cooked. Yep, we are absolutely cooked, chat. GG. Okay, so, yes, we lost. So I have to play this deck again. That's the rules. That's kind of the, the shtick of the challenge. It's like, you know, maybe you get a deck that you don't like or you struggle with. It ain't no, you don't get no redos, no get out of jail free cards. So we're just gonna, we're gonna run it back. I don't think the deck is that bad, though, to be fair. I just, I want to make that clear. I think the deck is fine. I think, uh... Obvi man, I clearly didn't play it, play it that well. Simple as that. All right, he drops the Valkyrie. Just my lucky day. Uh, one of the best answers in the game to Goblin Drill, but we're not going to let that stop us. Okay, pretty aggressive, Xy. I just don't think it was good either. We can actually just go for a Skeleton Surround, and now we're going to have a really nice counter push because you effectively just, like, wasted five Elixir. In my opinion, I think you wasted it. And if we go like this, Ice Wizard takes that out. Nice, okay. Fine with me. Okay, so it looks like he's running Hog Xy NATO. Like the Viper deck, I'm not 100% sure, but just just from what I've seen, I'm assuming is what. Yeah, okay, there it is. Uh, so yeah, that feels like it's the best we can do. I know he's gonna probably go for King Tower activation, so I want to drop the Evil Goblin Drill just so it's harder. Nice, yeah. I don't know if he was thinking of doing it, but now we're gonna get a crap ton of damage at least. No, my log was like a schmidgen too slow. Okay, so I'm down to run the Viper deck. The problem is. Tornado is really my only good defensive option. So, uh, wish me luck. We need to try and, like, this looks weird. We need to actually block the XE because I need the hog to not get, like, body blocked. You know what I mean? Because if the hog gets body blocked, it's, like, really awkward to activate King Tower. Okay, well, horrible firecracker placement. All right, let's go in. Okay, we can get King Tower activated at least. So we have that going for us. Okay, King Tower is activated, but um, just stopping future hogs is just, it's not going to be fun. It's going to be a bad time. Neither of us can defend super well, so we're going to go Ice Wizard here. Ice Wizard going to do a good job splashing on those goblins. Um, goblins aren't going to get any value for him in this circumstance. Skeletons, and then we're going to go in with the Goblin Drill. I will take this poison. Um, I just have to, I think, in this circumstance, because like I said, it's hard for me to get damage. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
Nice. He dropped that Valkyrie. I don't think he needed to do that, to be honest with y'all. Wow. Reverse Tornado's crazy, but it worked, and I hate him for it. Okay. Goblin are gonna go in. He might spend on the left. If he's smart, he won't, but we'll see. Ooh. Okay, okay. We're cooking, we're cooking, except we're not cooking. I was trying to get that onto the tower, but it didn't work. Okay, fair enough. Okay. It might even go defensive Goblin Drill here, depending on what he does. I'm going to. Yeah, that was crazy. Okay. I mean, I have to try. I have to try something. I have. To, I have to try something here. I can't let him rock it. Firecracker just sold this clip for me. This game, surely. Oh, unless, unless double Firecracker, unless double Firecracker. Oh. Now he rockets, doesn't he? Okay, he should have just rocketed. I don't know why I didn't rocket. Okay. Well, he made that mistake, and uh, we're going to capitalize off of it. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll see you in the next match. Okay, shoutouts to Viper. Run in the Viper deck. Let's do it. All right, so this deck, good and bad. The skill level for this deck is absolutely crazy. He said, wow. Uh, don't know if he knows who I am or something. I don't know. He just hit me with the wow. We're going to go like this here. I, if, if I was a little better, I think I could have activated King Tower. It's probably what I should have done in that situation. Oh no, I think he's running the he's running log bait, which means I really want to win because then I get to play his log bait, but log bait is really good against the Viper deck. The one thing I have going for me is I really I feel as though I know how to play against log bait. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. I'm such a bot. Oh my gosh. Really smart playing the barrel in the back too, honestly. What a madman. Uh, he's good too. Ah, oh, that was so smart. Okay. Gotta take a deep breath here, because it ain't looking good. In fact, it's looking very bad. Okay. I'm sure he's gonna protect, so we need to line up the Executioner... ...like so. Mm -mm, can't support this. Don't have the ability to support it. I'm down enough Elixir as is. Okay, whatever. Drop some Knight. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Could go for King Tower. Okay. I'm gonna go for King Tower activation like this. Ooh. He's going to get a lot of damage. And I failed the King Tower activation. Kyuk! Me, dude. Horrible start. Oh, where did he play the barrel? He must have played the barrel in a weird spot or something. I'm going to go in just because he did spam us. I want to find out what his building is. Oh, and it's bad. Ah. Yep, okay. It's it's not looking good, chat. Okay, I have to log this. Beautiful. I mean, we can go goblins here. I mean, oh, I just feel so flustered right now. I feel so flustered right now, but like I said, I am a log bait main. I know what they want to do. I'm in their head, so that is the one thing I have going for me. But I do not, I definitely do not have the matchup. So let's take a deep breath. Let's reflect. Let's go into double elixir and think, what would Viper do? What would Viper do? WWVD or something. I don't know. Okay, I don't know if Viper would have allowed that hit. Okay, we have to go crazy here. Nice. Let's go log like this. We had the idea, but just bad execution, I feel. Okay. Good Xy. No, bad Xy. What is happening right now? I feel like I'm like actively playing god-awful. Go like that, because I was Princess Paranoid. Goblin's going to do an okay job. Oh, man. I'm not having a good time. I'm, I'm not having a good time, in case you're wondering. Um, maybe a breath of a breath of fresh air, maybe. Um, it's good for us. Not good enough, but it's good. It's damn good. Mm. It's great damage. I might be princess paranoid. Um, um, can't princess right now. He can just rock it though. That's what's so frustrating. I need to go for like a Hail Mary here. Like I just have to, otherwise I just lose. That is a Hail Mary for sure. Is he gonna just rock it? He can just rock it, does he know it? He can just rock it. 
No, don't do it. Don't rock it. Don't rock it. Don't rock it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. He sold. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I was getting clapped that entire match. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but what a win. Finding a way to dub. Silence the critics. We're going to be playing log bait in the next game. We'll see you there. Well, 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 if it isn't my old friend. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know, I main bait, bait variants. Uh, so I'm very stoked to see this deck. I'm happy. I feel like there's no scenario in which I'd lose. Um, but I also probably just shouldn't be saying that in the first place. Eh, who just cycles a Tesla first play? Interesting, interesting. Okay. We're going to get a little bit of Spear, Spear Goblin chip. I'm grateful for that. Okay, so he's running Tesla, E Spirit. Maybe it's Expo. It doesn't have skeletons in hand. This is a worth a log, though, because I still have to log it anyway. He gives me the well played. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. We have Evil Barrel as well. I'm going to go ahead and play it. I don't think the monk ability will work. No, I was hoping he would pop it because it wouldn't have worked. Okay. Fair enough. Let's cycle our skeletons to get to our evil ones. And then I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of a little scared of what he has. Oh, I just realized I have to play this deck too. Oh, okay. We might get a King Tower activation. He's going to get a lot of firecracker chip though. Actually. Okay, nice. We do get the King Tower activated. Um, and he does, in fact, get a lot of firecracker chip. We're going to go gang here to mitigate any more additional chip. And now we're in a good situation. We took a little bit of damage, but, I mean, I'm not worried about it. We're going to have log ready because I'm pretty sure he's just going to drop skeletons on. I didn't think that he can get away with it. Does he have guard and, guards and skeletons? Or did I just, like, gaslight myself into thinking that? So it looks like we're going to be playing Ram Rider, Firecracker, something like that. But already an immaculate start. I just need to watch out for the monk, obviously, with the rocket and the barrel. Okay, he just cycles uh, a Tesla. He's Princess Paranoid. I wasn't even thinking of going for the Princess. I didn't even have it in cycle. E-Spirit, not going to be that great. In fact, it's going to be downright bad. We're going to cycle our Knight here. Whew! If you've made it this far, just know how much I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. I hope you're enjoying the content. Um, <clears throat> feel free to subscribe if you enjoy the content. I don't usually ask for it mid-video, but I uh, might as well. Might as well just start yapping. Alright, so far so good. So far so good. He might pop the monk ability. He might not. So for that reason, I'm just going to wait here and go for the double barrel. I'm going to go like this because uh, I want the Evo Skeletons to get value. Ooh, that sucks. Misplaced that a little bit, but that's fine. We actually have a really nice counter push in both lanes. He actually has to spend on those Evo Skeletons, so he does. Okay. I wish I would have gone barrel in the, the other lane. That was a total mistake by me. Total mistake. I should have gone barrel in the left lane, so... Learn from my mistakes, be better, but I don't at all feel like the match is compromised. I want my princess to live here, so I'm going to drop skellies just to be absolutely certain. Okay. The firecracker chip can add up quickly, so we just need to be cognizant of that. Let's try and catch it like this. Okay, we have log ready for guards. Mm, evil test like going to be a great answer. Firecracker, I feel like, is coming soon. We'll see. Maybe not. King Tower activation, pain, dividends on defense. I'm going to log here just to be absolutely safe. Now we have the benefit of being able to go either lane. I'm going to actually build up the push, though. So we're going to drop the Knight. Yeah, really, I think, bad bowler. Let's go real barrel like this. And I think he, I think he overcommitted. I don't think he can defend this. Yeah. Nice. So as long as we don't rocket the Monk, we're good. And we won't even need to. Oh, we, need, we will. We're going to go ahead and give him the good game. Pretty easy match there. Um, we'll see how we do with their deck. <laughs> it's not the worst deck I've ever seen, but uh, I pair against Bass, and um, this might be the deck that takes us out. It just might be. I just get that vibe. It might be the deck that takes us out. I don't feel super confident. Let's go like this. See if he activates the King Tower. Nah, he probably won't because he's already spent two elixir. He tried. Kind of looks like he might be running Hog EQ. Not entirely sure. It just kind of looks like it. Monk does really well against the Mighty Miner, so I'm just going to cycle it. I don't want him to get an easy King Tower activation, so I'm going to go Ram Rider. Perfect timing with him using the log. He probably has a building, though. Yeah. Fine. Good to know. It does It does look like it's um, Hog. Just from the, the deck composition. So we should be okay against Hog. I just think getting damage will, will be kind of tough. So for that reason, I'm going to go like this. Yeah, whatever. I'll take some chip where I can get it. Bowler going to be good against Hog. Tesla going to be good against Hog. Miner makes me think that it's Balloon, actually. Now that I've seen more of his deck. Wallbreaker is going to be great here. Or, excuse me, Guard is going to be great here. I don't hate this deck. Like I said, I got to try and figure out what he's running. Okay. 
Once again, my man trying to activate the King Tower. He played it a little too early. It might end up just being like an Earthquake Cycle deck for your boy. It really might be. He really should pop this ability. He goes for... Okay, that was well played. That was well played. I'm going to go like this because I want that Firecracker to get taken care of. Beautiful. Okay, that was really weird. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and frankly, I think that that was bad. So we're going to go like this. I'm going to pop the Monk ability. It's going to take care of the cannon. E-Spirit also going to pop off. Ram Rider just going across town. And um, somehow we activated King Tower. What? What activated King Tower? It's fine. I, I genuinely think we should be able to defend his deck and take no damage. So you might, y'all might be in for a five minute game. So buckle up. Okay. I'm just gonna set up. I think I'm gonna start setting up a, a defense. Like in double elixir, it makes sense to slow roll boulders. We're gonna go like this. Beautiful, beautiful. Those wall breakers ain't connecting. Just, I do need to watch out for the firecracker. He might be kind of ambitious. Okay, he plays it in the back. I'm actually going to start earthquaking them uh, in double. I think it's a fine play. Bowler over there just tweaking out for some reason. Okay, firecracker on his firecracker, hopefully. That should splash and take it out. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Bowler actually doesn't reset this, which is interesting for me. So we're just going to take a chill pill. Nice. The evil firecracker getting an absurd amount of value. Okay, now's our time to go in because he spent and we can defend it really, really easily. Maybe not really easily, but easy, easily-ish. Mm. Eh, whatever. Okay. Bowler low here, just in case he gets the bright idea to go for wall breakers. Yeah, he doesn't. Yeah, the firecracker, I'm not even joking, is like the hardest card for us to deal with in this matchup. We're going to go offensive Ram Rider here. I'm going to have Earthquake for the cannon when it comes down. Earthquake. I know we don't hit the tower, but that's fine because Ram Rider should get a connection. Ah, good E-Spirit from him. And you can see he's starting to catch up, so this isn't great for us. <sighs> okay, let's take a deep breath. Let's take a deep breath. Ah, stupid firecracker. Man, well played to him. Gotta give credit where credit's due. Okay. Could have activated King Tower. Opted not to. I think it's fine. All right. Defending with troops whenever possible. Always the, always the wave. All right, we're gonna go Earthquake here. And then now, I just need to watch out for Evo Skeletons. Let's have our E-Spirit ready. Wow, he got back to a, a cannon super fast. Okay, yeah, there we go. Finally, finally, I was like, this man, there's no way he can keep defending these massive pushes. And indeed he can. That's a great, great breakthrough on damage. We'll absolutely take that. Nice, those guards, a little chip, chip. Bowler as well. Okay, we're going to set up with the bowler here. Guard, great damage. We can probably just start going for Earthquake Cycle. And it won't be a problem. Okay, if we need to, if we need to, that is. Okay, again, Tesla just makes so much sense here. Cards as well. You can tell he's getting, like, desperate because he's just spamming. You know what I mean? Okay, we're just going to go in here. We're just going to go in. I mean, it is what it is. Okay. Just keep spamming, just keep spamming, just keep spamming. He has to drop a cannon, and that's GG's. Honestly, not a bad, not a bad deck, not a bad match. Once we realized we were up, calm, cool, and collected. We'll see you with their deck in the next game. Okay, I actually really like this deck. I'm super excited. Into our next match here, and this guy running like a minor control deck. Ah, uh, I don't like to see cannon here. I think that is really, really unfortunate with this deck archetype. So we're gonna drop the cannon here. Yeah, skeletons are like the only thing we have going for us against the cannon here. But other than that, it's it's kind of bleak. I'm going to go wall breakers. Maybe he'll think that he doesn't have to spend on it because that's true. But then we'll go sneaky skeletons in front. And then he actually, yeah, then he does have to respond to it. Okay, we're going to go like this early. Wow, I can't believe that connected. I don't want him to pop the ability. If he goes to Ewiz, we can pop our own ability. He goes for the ability anyway. I don't know if I agree, to be honest, but that's okay. We're just going to go like this. It's an easy defense. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, we're gonna go firecracker here. It's not a firecracker, but that's okay. Log. I can already like this deck kind of feels like it's you know a control deck. So don't want to be too aggressive, wanna go in at the right times. So let's go like this. Let's see what he does. Nice! He needs to spend Oh, that's her nice. That that wasn't coherent English, but basically I knew he had to spend more on it, so it was good for us. That's all you need to know. <laughs> that's what I was trying to say. In my, in my incoherent English. Let's go like this. He doesn't have arrows, so these firecrackers are going to get a lot of value. Okay. Mighty Miner early, I think, is a good play. I think it's a great play, even. I think it's a great play. I think it's great enough for us to go like this. doesn't have arrows in cycle yet. 
We can go like this, and uh, great E Spirit, and he's gonna eat these. Bang, 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 bang. Ooh, 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 that's gotta hurt. I felt that one. I felt that one. I'm not even him. We're gonna go like this. Firecracker gonna chip onto everything. And let's see. He has to arrows the Firecracker, I think. Well, maybe go uh, Skeleton King on it. We'll see. Yeah, he does go Skeleton King on it. Not a bad play. So I'm gonna take a risk here and do this before he pops the ability. It should full counter. And it's a threat against the Cannoneer. Beautiful. He needs to spend on it still. Just, I feel like we're so... Not do we're so dominant, but we look good. We look good. All right, we're gonna drop the Mighty Miner in the back. Mm -hmm. This is a fine log for me. I feel like it makes sense to log here. Just need to watch out for like a Mortar or something like that. Cannon Cart comes down. I don't love that. We're gonna actually go like this and we're gonna pressure depending what it plays we might pop the mighty miner ability now nah, we don't need to okay i'm gonna try and keep my firecracker alive and we failed and now we might be in trouble might be might be might be might be i know i think nope yeah we are in trouble oh no we're okay we're okay we're okay we're okay we're okay we're okay calm cool and collected Evil Mortar might be tricky. Yeah, he's up a lot of a, a lot of elixir here, so <clears throat> just need to be careful. Firecracker. Let's go like this. Um, I don't like this situation that I found myself in. I just don't. But he used his arrows. So these are gonna pop off. Bang bang bang. And pop off as much as we wanted to, but they did okay. Evil Mortar, taken care of, is amazing for us. Okay, good, 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 good. We're going to cycle Skeletons just so we can get back to another cannon. What is happening? Uh, I'm just going to log this. I think it's fine. Evil Wall Breaker is going to do great. They're going to do great. They're going to take care of the bats. Nice, great Miner Chip. The Miner Chip starting to add up. Wow, does that hit my tower? Wow, it does. Okay, fair enough. Let's try not to throw this match. I really, really would like to not squander this lead. I know it seems like it's an obvious request but i just don't let's go like this pop up the, the mighty miner bomb and what do you know we snuck those wall breakers onto the tower ggs against one of the most popular decks in the game mortar we're gonna hold that w and see you in the next match all right i think we've finally gotten to the point of the video where the decks that i'm copying are actually good okay okay this guy has expo in his name we're running mortar we'll see if he's tr true to his name excuse me all right, he's running Cannoneer. I'm running, like I said, one of the most popular Mortar decks in the game. Uh, last season, this deck, I think, finished number one or at the very least in the top five. So really excited to give it a try here. Okay, I'm going to be cheeky. I'm going to be cheeky. Once that locks, we're going to go bang. Mm. Yeah. Mm, whatever. I'm like, that didn't do that much for us, but that's okay. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Mm, okay, well, I'm just going to let this breathe. Alrighty. Let's just set up with the mortar. I think one of the best things you can do when you're running mortar is just feel out your opponent. Like just okay, what what do they have? You know, what's the the rest of their deck composition? Um, and so that's kind of what what the goal is here. Mortar taking forever. Oh my gosh. Okay, he running goblin drill. Okay, I would really like to copy his deck, so hopefully we can edge out a win here because goblin drill would be very nice for me. Okay, we're gonna go do split lane here. And it's gonna help charge up the Skeleton King ability, hopefully. Okay, Skeleton King ability charged up. Let's pop it. Hopefully he has to spend something on it. Otherwise, we kind of just, yeah, good, good. We force out the log. That's good. That's kind of the crux of this deck is you want to force out, you know, their log, their spells, and you can kind of punish them otherwise with like an Evo Mortar. Okay, we know how he likes to respond to mortars. Don't think they run a big spell normally. Okay, let's do this. And then he doesn't have log. Beautiful. Okay, that's gone. Okay, the cannon card is going to help defend here. Oh, but it's blocking the mortar. Darn it. Okay, let's just do this. I was going to play the mortar, but it's not really going to work. My man playing this well. Got to give credit where credit's due. All right, we're going to chill here. Never really wanting to cycle my Skeleton King uh, because it's really good against the drill. That's kind of the main reason, I feel. Goes Demolisher. We go cannon cart. Okay. Let's go like this. Skeleton King gonna charge up his ability. Let's do this. He has to log. Cannon Cart gonna get a lot of value. Doesn't have log in cycle. Remember that. Doesn't have log in cycle. Remember that. 
Okay. Dark Alvin going crazy. Mortar gonna lock onto the tower. Probably. Oh, I lied. Nice. Uses his evil Tesla, and we haven't used our evil mortar, so now we're in a really good spot. We're in a really good spot right here. Okay, let's go like this. Cannon cart to catch something. I always see mortar players do this. And we're gonna do evil bats on the opposite lane. Because he has to drop something here for both sides. I think that's gonna be a mortar lock. Mortar locks onto the tower. I think. It did. It did. Evil Mortar locks onto the tower. He used his log. Nice. Great damage. Great damage. Great damage from the Evil Mortar. Dude, Mortar is so good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Dude, mortar is, like, disgusting. I hate playing against Mortar. Always. Let's go like this to force out the E-Spirit, ideally. The man can barely go in. Okay, he goes for the poison. Kind of aggressive. Um, I think it's kind of aggressive. Charging up the Skeleton King ability here. Let's go like this. He's going to go for a log. We're going to go bang, bang, bang. And just just destroyed, man. Mortar is such a good card. GG's to that guy. We're going to be copying the Goblin Drill deck. W Mortar. See you in the next match. All right, last deck of the video. Let's see if we can get 12 wins, baby. Oh, it's too likely our last match of the video we're either gonna win this one or the next one or lose both those are the the three options here we're just gonna wait if he doesn't play anything we're gonna cycle a log okay demolisher i choose you okay we spent uh six elixir my opponents spent three so not the best okay he has to drop a fisherman on it though so it's gonna even out looks like he's running maybe royal giant maybe pekka you know, any combination of those makes sense. That might connect on the tower. Oh my god. Dude, Demolisher. <laughs> I think that card needs a nerf. Hot take probably, but I think that card is so good. I'm actually going to poison early because then he will have to spend more. That's fine. It's good poison value. Kind of looks like Giant Graveyard. I'm not sure. If the bowler was on the inside, I would go for a King Tower activation. If he goes in for a Graveyard, I don't think it'll be good. It, it, it'll feel, I think, kind of like rushed. Cards like this because they'll provide us with a counter push as well. W guards. Okay, Phoenix gonna be fine here. I definitely think it's P.E.K.K.A. It's P.E.K.K.A. or R.G. Oh, oh, you know what it is? There's a really popular deck right now. It's P.E.K.K.A. Goblin Giant. I know it sounds weird, but for whatever reason, someone figured out that it works, and uh, it's just like been everywhere, and it's really frustrating. Oh, come on, get there, get there, King. Go, go, go. Does that connect? Nah, nah, he gets blasted. Okay. Okay, we're gonna log here beautiful he's gonna get like one shot i don't want to go same lane in this matchup because then he can just drop like a bowler and like build up a really massive push uh okay well i'm gonna go i'm gonna go drill guards because he's gonna drop a bowler right and then maybe the guards can get on the tower yeah nice that's why we played it in the back okay that's fine well defended i mean we're 12 wins into a classic challenge so like these people know what they're doing these ain't no these ain't no schmucks unfortunately Okay, we're gonna go Goblin Demolisher in the corner. Okay, he does go in. I'm gonna be ready. We're gonna get the Knight down as well. He goes for the Rage. We're gonna time this. Nah, uh, we don't even need a log, honestly. Okay. Okay, we did need to log. I was very wrong. Fair enough. Goes for guards of his own. I think I'm just gonna drop a Demolisher. And mentally prepare to switch lanes. Okay. If he goes bomber, I'm definitely gonna poison. If he goes bowler, I'm gonna let it go. Like I said, he goes bowler, I let it go. Okay. This guy's playing good. I mean, he has a really good deck, so kind of to be expected. Okay, we're gonna set up a defense here. And also a counter push, because one of the best things you can do is pressure wall defending. Always. Especially when you're running like a fast deck like this. Ooh, the berry, the berry, the berry. Wasn't paying attention there. Let's take this poison. Mm. Yeah, I wasn't ready for the Evo Berry. That was well played. He kind of caught me sleeping. But the match is pretty even right now. So let's just take a chill pill. Teslas are really hard for him to deal with. So preemptively playing a Tesla is not bad in this matchup, in my opinion. Night high. Really, really good play, I think. Oh, mother. Is that Phoenix going to respawn? It does. Okay, let's go like this. Bad, 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 bad. Um, okay. We are cooked. We are absolutely cooked, chat. GG. Bonus game. Uh, you know, at the beginning of this video, I said I was pretty confident that I could complete this challenge. 
It's proving to be more difficult than I thought. Either way, this is the last game of the video. A little longer than normal, so if you're here and you stuck it out, shoutouts to you um, for making it this far. I'm grateful. Let's go guards here. Yeah, I didn't want that skeleton to get a connection. And he dropped an Ice Spirit, so it worked out. Ice Spirit, Skeleton, Log could be a lot of things. My initial thought is 2.6, but it doesn't have to be 2.6. 2.6 would be great, though. I feel like, ah. Uh, right as I say that, it ain't 2.6. It's okay. Good night placement to make sure that it doesn't get on the tower. We're going to go in with a drill here. Um, hopefully to block for the Tesla. Nah, ah, I mistimed it. That can be like a really cheeky play. Like it'll it'll block for the Tesla. So that way you can um, get more value through Demolisher. Looks like we're in a mirror match of sorts. I'm running Cannoneer though. So not a, not a perfect mirror. Horrible E-Spirit. Might even give him a King Tower activation. Nah, we're good. Okay, okay. Demolisher comes down for him. I'm going to go Tesla high here. Interesting. Is this a true mirror matchup? It kind of looks like it is. Okay, we're going to go like this. I think I need a log here, otherwise that gets too much value. Okay, he's already sneaking into the league. I feel like I'm already a disadvantage because I'm running Cannoneer, when in reality I feel like it'd be better to not be running Cannoneer in this matchup, but... It is what it is. Let's go Demolisher high here. Just to snipe this. DPS this down early. Goes high Tesla. Fair play. Fair play. Okay. Let's go ahead and go in. I'm going to go drill in the back. Depending on what he plays, I can poison. If he goes knight, I'm not going to poison it. I'll poison this. It's an annoying card. <laughs> and uh, if we DPS it down enough, it won't help. Yeah, nice. Okay, we forced out the log. That's fine. Okay, he's going to go in... We're going to go guards. Ice spirit high. Oh, God. Cannoneer is so bad against the goblin drill. Yikes. 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 All right. We're going to have to pull off some magic here. All right. It's a decent poison. Evil Tesla, he has in cycle, though. So we'll see how far we can get with this. Okay, didn't really get the damage that I would have hoped that we got from that push, so kind of unfortunate. He's probably just going to poison here. I would poison this if I was him, but uh, he hopes not to poison it. That's fine with me. I think we need to kind of be aggressive with our poisons. The only reason I say that is, like, our, this matchup is tough for us specifically, so we're going to go high Tesla here to establish some bridge dominance. Hmm. Okay, he goes Tesla low like that. Not sure how I feel about it. E-Spirit here. He has the same idea. Similar idea. Let's go like this. Keep, keeping the Demolisher healthy is probably one of the most important things in this matchup. One of them, at least. Okay. Demolishers cancel out, unfortunately. Gonna have an easy defense by him right here. He can just go. He doesn't even have to log. He could have, but he opted not to. Okay. Let's go Demolisher high. Knight. Tesla. Wow. Wow, 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 okay. Yikes. Demolisher might connect to the tower here. Let's go for the poison as well. Log's a little early. That one guard, that one guard, that one guard, that one guard. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're back in this game, but... Just don't like the defense, you know what I mean? You just get to free poison every time. Nearly, yeah. Okay, let's go in. We have to take this poison, I mean. There's no other way that we win. Let's go like this with guards. We need to cycle drills quickly. That demolisher hit my tower would have been GG's. Oh, he has Evo. We got to pressure a little bit. Not too much. Guards here. Come on. All right, GG's. Tough matchup. Us having Candy Nair and him not. So we're going to give him the good game, and we're going to catch you in the outro. And that's going to do it for today's video. So close and yet so far. I feel like we had decent luck with the matchups, but at the very least, it was fun. I know this is a longer video than normal, so if you have made it this far, just know how much I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the content, and I hope to see you in another video real soon. Peace.